Hi, welcome to the Eastern Township School Board series of videos. In this module, we're going to be exploring the use of copyrights on the internet, part of the Introduction to Technologies for Learning course. So, how can we know about copyrights and what's important? Well, first of all, as a student, you might most likely have to use images in your documents. Now, thankfully, if you do a search for royalty-free images, you'll find lots of websites that offer free images. You have Pixabay, you have Pexels, you have um, things like the Shutterstock that do offer some images that are free, freeimage.com, stockphotoguides.com. There's quite a few places, and you can look at a lot more in here. Uh, places that offer you images, especially as a student, you're pretty much allowed to use a lot of these different images because you're not going to make money out of them, so you do have the right to use them. If you're going to be using text and the likes, well, you could inquire about Creative Commons or the CC. Um, this is a logo that you'll find on different um, text. They have licenses, so if there's a CC and there's an attribution, you need to give uh, credit to the author. So as long as you give credit to the original creator or creation, then this is the most accommodating type of license if you see just CC and that little person here. There you have many different levels of them. So if you see a work that has a CC logo on it, um, as spe specifically uh, the attribution one, it means that you can use it as long as you tell people where it came from but specifically as a student you'll mostly be using images and as I said just do a search for royalty free images uh, for example royalty free image of a tree and then you'll have quite a few things that come up and you can just follow them and see if they really are uh, royalty free and if you download one just follow their guidelines whether it's to tell just write down where they came from but if it's just for a student uh, work then you don't need to you could just use a royalty free image and there you go